So I didn't even realize this was a thing, but in Alabama, apparently they're very triggered by yoga because it's scary and foreign. So they've decided that they're going to keep canceling it. It was canceled before, and then they're going to extend said cancellation. Hashtag cancel culture. Alabama's decades-old ban on yoga in public schools could, well, it could stay in place just a little bit longer. A bill that would reverse that 1993 ban stalled during a Senate uh, subcommittee uh, hearing after two conservative groups uh, shot it down. Uh, they argue that bringing yoga into classrooms, back into class, would promote Hinduism. Now, the proposed bill does address those issues. It would limit yoga sessions to just poses and stretches with all of them going in English names. Also, chanting and mantras oh, God. would not be allowed. Oh, mean uh, okay, so no shavasana. It's got to be, you know, downward dog, whatever. We're going to make it as English as humanly possible. How about, how about beer pose? How about beer belly pose? How about down fried home chicken uh, stretch? I don't even know. That is amusing to me on so many levels, but apparently... Cancel culture counts when it's Dr. Seuss, but when it's been in place for since the 90s with yoga, that's not cancel culture. That's just us protecting our sweet white children from Hinduism. It is this alternate reality where the Hindu threat became the the big uh, boogeyman of the 21st century instead of Islam. Like they, they just got the wrong, they were on the wrong memo in, in 93. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, so I guess this is a part of their argument that this teaching yoga in, in schools would violate separation of church and state because it originally... Which they super, which they super love in Alabama. Exactly. Right. I mean, they're a secular society, so they're being consistent on this front. I was blown away to find out that this had been in place in the past. And I'm blown away that they were like, all right, it's time. Yoga so ubiquitous. People do it everywhere. Uh, let's just finally allow it in schools, but we'll make sure that they, they don't say any foreign scary names, but that it's stalling in the Alabama Senate. This is exactly what they're concerned about here. And yeah, I mean, if I was concerned about anything, let's say I was hired as an anti-yoga lobbyist, um, <laughs> I would say I'm more concerned about the proclivities towards like sex cultism and yoga. Um, and that's a reason to keep it out of schools. Not this like culture, like, yeah, we need, yeah, like you said, we're going to do the gator pose. Um, first of all, uh, downward dog is not like, that's English. I, like a lot of these, I do yoga and I'm not like getting any kind of understanding of Hinduism. I'll, I'll, I'll uh, promise you that. I mean, it was pretty amazing culture. I mean, it's the ultimate cultural panic, right? Because this has nothing to do with anything. The real message of that bill was we're all Christians, right? <laughs> Basically. Yeah. Yeah, well, don't, downward dog, I don't think is necessary. Like, that's a, that's a different kind of shavasana. But uh, there's, like, another word for, like, regular shavasana is just basically when you're in resting pose. But I think if you're really Americanizing it, sometimes they call it corpse pose or, like, or... or yeah, you know, like, those, all, those are the names I know it as. I never hear somebody say, let's move to a name I don't understand. It's always... Back in the pre-COVID days, I've gone to studios where they'll say the the traditional phrase and i'm like can i look around to see what the hell i'm supposed to be doing but uh and and then obviously that turned me immediately to hinduism so the proves their point right um also they should be teaching yoga because one it treats it a lot like i'm not gonna be you know brooklynite pro yoga person but yes i am actually because they there's a reason they're doing it in some prisons throughout the country because it allows you to clear your mind it calms you down it gets you more in touch with your body and it's a very healthy form of exercise so come on alabama let's go it's it doesn't have to be hindu indoctrination yeah it is like honestly I, I we didn't do any kind of yoga but i do remember stretching and that was annoying if i could have done it on mats with like some sort of process behind it i would have enjoyed it a lot more Yes, yes. I, I I think gym classes should teach yoga because you can do it in your home and it's cheap and good for you. You can just watch YouTube videos. Come on, guys. But this is a pro yoga show.
And apparently an anti-cancel culture show because Alabama wants to cancel yoga and we are in favor of free yoga and free speech. Well, the funny thing that somebody told me about Twitter, you know, that Grinch Act guy that we talked about last week. So one, un, like one unfortunate ramification from his perspective of that Grinch Act is, is it might hurt uh, Southern state's ability to cancel like secular education. <laughs> Uh, which would be a hilarious, uh, you know, own goal there. Uh, I guess we'll have to monitor that to see how it goes. Uh, curb your enthusiasm music. Uh, play it in the background, right? As you zoom yeah. on that guy, whatever his name is, that incredibly uncharismatic congressman who's trying to make a name for himself on the national stage. Um, but yeah, I mean, yoga better than CrossFit, I think is the, um, the conclusion we can come to after the last few days. 400 times better than CrossFit, yes.